Hey, you know, I'm a musician, too. What do you say, huh? We hit the road, start a band, make some babies that look exactly like you. Oh, you got a nice smile. Always good. Jeremy, let's start with you. Yeah. You've primarily been known for doing Broadway. Mm -hmm. How hard was it for you to transition into film? Well, for this film, it wasn't difficult at all. I mean, I, I do a lot of uh, musical stuff on Broadway, and so the singing and the musical aspect of this was like going right home. And the director, Todd Graff, uh, has his roots in Broadway and on the stage, and so anytime I felt uncomfortable, he always knew exactly what to do and what to say. After f uh, a few weeks, I, I mean, I learned all the lingo, and, and uh, everybody was like, this is the first movie you've ever done? I just felt right at home. Kiki, you got to reunite with uh, Queen Latifah for this, which you first acted with her when you were nine. Yes. So what was that like getting to perform with her again and play her daughter? It's just awesome. And I was really excited about it because, you know, the first time that I worked with her, I was so young. So this time I'm older and I get to ask her so many questions and really get to know her on a more personal level. You say some really harsh things to her. Yeah. <laughs> what would happen if you tried to say those things to your mom? The same thing. I've said similar. You know, I think that's why I loved this script so much was because every teenager goes through this stage where they're trying to find out who they are or, you know, they're trying to separate themselves from, the, from their mother or they, they aren't humanizing their parents. A lot of times as a kid you think your parent is just like so perfect and then when you grow up and realize that they're, you know, not, it kind of can take you through a, a strange feeling but then mm -hmm. you have to realize that, you know, they are human and respect them for their flaws and accept them for who they are. Jeremy, you get thrown in the deep end here and that you are sitting on a piano bench duetting with <laughs> a legend when you're yeah. duetting with Dolly Parton. Yeah. How did you prepare for that and how did she make you feel comfortable? I mean, that was later on in the filming, so we had already become very close at that point. Yeah. And so uh, I was really looking forward to that and uh, she had written that song. She wrote it herself. And so for me to get to play along and sing with her for something she wrote was just, was just an honor for me. And, and uh, I mean, I couldn't, I, I wasn't nervous at all. I was, I was just more excited than anything. One of the sweetest stories is the story between you and Walter, uh -huh. who is your character's brother who has Asperger's. How did you prepare to play a role with someone who has Asperger's? I know he does not in real life. I want to say that he, Randy doesn't go into it out of a true, uh, honest place. He kind of goes into it to make her mother happy so that he can get to her. And then through that, he discovers his love for this kid. And so uh, you basically just use what's in the script. I mean, you, you get to follow that journey, you get to feel that journey. Having to work with uh, Dexter, who plays Walter, does such a great job of portraying that Asperger's sort of character that, um, that I could just sort of connect to that, to the, his character, just as much as, as if I had, you know, done a lot of research with the true Asperger's people. Joyful noise.